back to the Fox 9 Town Ball Tour. You're taking a look at uh, at Veterans Memorial Field out here in uh, in Piers, the Legion Field. We are so, so grateful for the warm welcome we've received, and everybody's just taking care of us here. And, boy, they know how to take care of a ball field as well. Look how beautiful, beautiful? that is. Huge turnout tonight on uh, a break in the weather for everybody in the state of Minnesota. So we're getting a double header in, which is great. Yes. And as much as uh, Piers loves baseball, this town is also really big on community. There are a lot of events here. It's a town of about 1,500 people, Randy, but yeah. that doesn't stop them from throwing some parties and having some fun. We have a couple of special uh, guests with us. Kristen Funk is with the Piers Freedom Fest. So we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, and Brenda Becker is with us over here as well. Brenda, let me start with you. This is uh, summer's well underway, and, and, and by we should note that her son is batting right now, so she might feel distracted. Let's see. Pitches come in. Go. Let's just uh, see. see. Oh, Let's take a break here and watch this. No pressure, here we go. Okay. No pressure. Brenda, here What's we go. What's his name? Chase. Chase. Let's go, Chase. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. All right. We're going to be quiet now. Okay. Uh, tell, <laughs> tell us about the Rock and Roll and Stroll. It's a big part of your summer events here. Yeah, we hold the Rock, Roll, and Stroll four times over the summer. It's the first Thursday of every month, June through September. Um, this next month, however, in July, we have changed that date a little bit so it doesn't um, drop on the 4th of July, so wow. that event will be July 11th, and we it's a free event for our community and anybody that cares to join us. We line our beautiful Main Street with antique cars. We beautiful. Average, you know, we average about 150 cars up and down Main Street. It's a little bit dependent on the weather, how mm -hmm. many cars we get, mm -hmm. but there are so many fun things going on as well during, during that. We have a poker walk, and that's for our car owners and anybody else who happens to be here. Um, they have we have live music we nice. have good eats we have a great brat and hamburger stand on the north side of town that helps fund the whole event so it's great are we looking Sounds at some fun. pictures here yeah uh, oh yep. okay and look how beautiful piers looks it's so lush and green and uh, we've just loved being here in this community uh, kristen i wanted to ask you about the piers freedom fest uh some people may not think that a town the size of piers can can hold its own and have a country music festival but you guys have been doing this a while Yes, we're going on 11 years wow. this year. So tell me about this year. What can people expect? Well, so this year our headliner is Chase Rice. Um, he has some new music out, so if you haven't seen it, you should really go check it out. Okay. Some good songs. And then we also have 90s um, kind of country star Phil Faster, and he will open the stage up at 8 o'clock. And then also new and upcoming, we have Lauren Watkins. Oh. So it's exciting exciting people all right so july 20th and uh do you have other things going on there just a bunch of people listening to some good country music yes and you can come early you can camp we have camping that opens up on friday and so people come in um some local areas around town uh, there's a pre-party at mm -hmm. bootleggers bar in piers and so that's on friday night and she allows shuttles you can come back oh, and wow. forth from the campgrounds so they'll make sure you make it back safe um some of the saturday there's other events sometimes the uh, bars will have like um uh beanbag tournaments oh, yeah. and stuff so we try and post it all and keep it on our Facebook page to let everyone know what's going on. Awesome. So again, Piers Freedom Fest, if you want to go check that out and get your tickets. Quick thing. I'm going to ask you one quick question. Favorite thing about Piers? Oh, the people. Oh, <laughs> That's easy. <nice. laughs> yeah. How about you? Christy. Yes, Christy. I have to say the community. It's a great community. I've raised both our kids here, and it's been oh. great. Well, all right. awesome. Sounds like I'd like to come out. I know you would. You were eyeing this uh, earlier, like the poster, and yeah. seeing who's going to be here. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. There's so much Brenda, more thanks. Yeah, to thanks peers yes. than I think people maybe <sighs> realize. It's it, for a lot out? of people. I think so. For a lot of people, they... Oh, did he? He's <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's, that's, he'll get up there. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> uh, a lot of people stop by maybe on their way to the to the cabin, and I, I hope that more people will take the time just to stop and experience uh, the town itself. So thank you both for being here. We appreciate it. All right. Getting a good slice of the Piers experience is one Ian Leonard tonight on a gorgeous evening, Ian. Yeah. Hi, Randy. Hi, uh, hi Amy. Um, the, the biggest problem is trying to find a seat. Um, oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Hi there. Hi, how are you guys? Good. Hi. Look at this. Doug, I mean, this is all down the first base line. Everyone, okay, I gotta, I gotta come in here. Come on in. And boom! Hey, down in front! It's okay. We're gonna make it. How you doing, guys? Good. I've never seen a crowd get more quiet than when you turn a TV camera on. I said, how you doing? Good. Good. 
Holy cow, this is a tough crowd. This, I'll tell you what, they started parking, this truck, they started parking this yesterday to get this spot. I don't even understand that. You parked the truck yesterday so you could sit here. Yesterday at 3.30. Yep, had my wife pick me up here, and yep, then I went fishing league last night. Okay, hold on. I got to move to Gibbon. His wife lets him park his truck and pick him up, and then she took you fishing? No, but she gave me a ride home. Then I went fishing. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good life in Gibbon. It's a good life here, isn't it? It's real good. Yeah, it's a good life in Piers. This is a, this is a good life. I, and the one thing I love about town ball is when you get the groups together like this. I mean, it's just, it's about baseball, but it's also about fellowship, right? And family. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, do you got anybody playing? Anyone on the team? Uh, second game. Goat Nation. Code Nation. <laughs> Go Billy Goats. Let me see the back. What does it say on the back? Bleh. Perfect. I don't, I don't, is that the cheer? Does everyone stand up at one time and go, Bleh. Let's try that one time on the count of three. One, two, three. Bleh. Boy, that'll, that'll put fear into the hearts of any team you're playing when you, when you start baying like a Billy Goat. Um, it's a gorgeous day today. Man, did we time this thing out right. Last Wednesday. Go Nation! Go Nation! I don't know what just happened, but it was so amazing. Hey, can I ask everyone a question? When the storms were rolling through here last Wednesday, who was the uh, only meteorologist and only station who was still on the air? Go ahead, just answer. Hey, Fox 9, thank you. Go Nation, thank you, representing. Um, that's what we do. We do it all across the state, and we always want to make sure that we're on the air during severe weather. That's our promise. Oh, fly ball, fly ball. Yeah! Um, so let's talk about the forecast. Man, did we time it out? Beauty. Temperatures today in the low 70s, plenty of sunshine. It's like the rain never happened until you start driving up here and you see all the water in the fields. Let's talk about the forecast. So tomorrow, unfortunately, the rain returns. It's more like scattered showers tomorrow. High temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. Friday, I'm just going to be honest, Friday is an awful day. Scattered, strong thunderstorms. The possibility upwards of an inch of rain. Storms continue all the way through Friday night and into the day Saturday. Saturday, perhaps another inch of rain on Saturday. It is a nasty looking start to the weekend. Then once we begin to pull into Sunday, things change. We'll clear out slowly so that we talk about nothing but sunshine. Next Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and look at the temperatures. High temperatures into the upper 80s. It's going to get hot. It's going to get humid. Goat Nation, what do we think about that? <laughs> Goat Nation loves it. You know, people have always told me that you should never, ever sit down with a little girl who's eating ice cream. Come on, you got to scooch a skosh. Okay, scooch over. Come on, no, right that way. Okay, we're going this way. Okay, coming in. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay, what kind of ice cream are we eating? Sprinkles. Sprinkles. I love... Do I get any? No. <laughs> And so is my life. I'm going to send you to a quick break. Everybody say goodbye from Piers. This is Town Ball, and we love it. Are you sure I can't get any?